Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing good. I wanted to do a video today. I'm getting um, Ellie Sue here ready to go home. Um, surprisingly, she's only moving in about an hour away, I guess, about an hour. Um, not far at all. So I was kind of happy about that. <laughs> but this is her. Um, you guys were able to see some photos. I did like a little slideshow of her uh, photos I had taken. But you, I don't think I've ever showed her to you actually in live mode. So this is her hair. If you can see that. Um, she's got real beautiful blue eyes with some hazel in the middle. Um, there's her little hands. I just love her. She's really awesome. And then her little feet. I did not do a belly plate for her, so she's just cloth body. <laughs> she's a beautiful little girl, guys. Challenging to paint, I will say that. Uh, she's Spanish vinyl, and she was very challenging to paint. But... As long as you take your time, it's you can do it. It's no big deal. This is her certi Certificate of Authenticity. She's 1343 of 1500. And then I'm just getting her documents here ready. Let me see if I can... Excuse my mess here, guys. I've been waiting and waiting Ellie Sue and all that. So I got a little glass bead spill there. Let me zoom in with my annoying zoom. You guys can kind of watch what I'm doing here. These are some of the documentation items I send home. I send home the, of course, the COA. And then this, I'm not sure if I've showed this to you before. These are my little birth certificate cards that I send home. Um, they have, I usually feature a couple of my newest babies on the front. And then on the back, I try to put some... Um, the most accurate information about the doll. So I'll put the day she was born, which I always do the day she was purchased. So she was purchased on July the 10th. of 2018 she's five pounds eight ounces she's 19 inches it's my nursery her hair color is black Her eye color, blue. Ellie Sue for Bonnie Brown. And then I give each doll, I do an actual ID certificate number um, so that if anyone has any issues or trouble, they can look back, uh, they can contact me and I can just kind of reference it and say, yes, okay, that is my, my doll. So, um, I'll put that on there here in a bit. Um, so, that'll go with her. And then I just do a couple of business cards and then her care instructions. And that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as the paperwork goes. Um, her mom, in particular, did not want a um, 
magnetic pacifier so I didn't include that so let me get you back here to the pretty girl <laughs> And I just wanted to talk to you guys also about a couple of things while I'm getting her ready to go. As far as what I'm going to be doing with the channel. I know a lot of you are anticipating giveaways. Um, I haven't done a giveaway since February. And I've been really busy. So I would like to do at least another giveaway this year maybe even two more I'm not 100% positive on the number but at least one more and I'm wanting to do it soon like very soon like this month soon um, in celebration of my prototype release which I get to show you guys tomorrow yay or today actually later on today um, it's kinda late here so um, but I would like to do that, and I just, I enjoy giving away dolls, and, because, you know, it makes people happy, and I always like making people happy, so. <clears throat> so, that's one thing I'll be doing soon. The next thing is, I did something that is kind of crazy. <laughs> I purchased a sewed out kit from a private person um, it's a <laughs> I've been wanting to do the kit I wanted to do the kit when she came out but before I got a chance to get to her she had sewed out and so I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go on and see if they if someone has her up for sale so I went online and found her, and um, she was ridiculously expensive, but I bought her. So, <laughs> it's the Anastasia by Olga Auer, um, if any of you are familiar with it. I will be doing her within the next month or so, um, and I will be putting her up for sale. And I'll probably have to, you know, I'm going to have to at least charge $250 over my <laughs> normal prices, which is ridiculous. I know, but I'm just going to have to because i got to make my money back. But I just, I love her. I love the kit. And I really wanted to do that. So, her kit, I've, um... <clears throat> Excuse me, I tracked it and it's in New York now. So I should get it probably in just a few days. I actually I expected it to take a little bit longer, but luckily I have it. Yay! So um, that's a new thing that I'm going to be doing. So watch out for that kit. Um, I'll do a video on that kit and my giveaway. I'll probably start it there on Facebook. I have kind of an idea of how I want to go with it. I'll probably start it on Facebook. I'm not sure if um, it'll be a requirement to like my page or whatever. I haven't really thought of all the ins and outs there yet, but I'm thinking it might be. Um, just because, you know, I, I do also like to get, of course we all do, we like to get a little publicity out of it. And that's what I'm, you know, I like to do. It also helps me uh, get my name out there and get my art out there. And also helps the winner of the kit by making them happy and, you know, they receive a free baby. So, um, you know, it takes a good long time to create a reborn. And it takes a lot of hard work. So, you know, I don't think asking... Um, for someone to follow me on Facebook and maybe tag some friends in and like a video. I don't think it's too much to ask, honestly, um, for all the work that's involved with it. I really don't. I think that's kind of fair. So, um, Also, I wanted to, to talk to you guys about something I would seen today on Facebook. There's people actually creating 
hate groups um, against reborn moms. And I don't know, it really upset me. As you guys know, I am not a collector. Um, I do have a few for my daughter. So, you know, I do have some here at the house. But, and I play with them when, you know, she wants me to play dolls with her. So, I kind of take offense to it, too. And the fact that that's the business I'm in. And, you know, I condone it. I don't think there's nothing at all wrong with it. And it, you know, it upsets me to see people being treated this way um, over a hobby and something they enjoy doing. And it just really bothers me. And, you know, I want to let you, a lot of you know, because I know some of the reborn moms out there, they do take it to, to heart, what these people say. And it bothers them. And it makes them ashamed to take their dolls out. And makes them ashamed to say they're a reborn mom. And, and that should not be the case at all, guys. Not at all. Um, you know, for those of you that's been watching me since I started a year and a half ago, um, you may remember the background video I did on myself, how I actually started painting many years ago. Um, I was studying for my master's degree in psychology and uh, looking for something to write a paper on. And I come across an episode of 2020 on TV and it was about these reborn dolls. And so it kind of sparked my interest, and I've been doing it from there. But here's the deal. The only time, and this is just in my opinion, my the information that I've learned along the way in school and um, so on and so forth, the only time that these dolls are an issue or cause an issue is if the mommy is having trouble distinguishing reality from what's real and from what is not real. Basically, if, you know, she really honestly believes that this is a baby. Um, and in all my years doing it, guys, I mean... Uh, I say I've been rewarding for almost 10 years, which take off, you know, a few years. Because after my first doll, I didn't do, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't do much more for a couple of years. And then I got back into it and so on. So, you know, I guess it's been around, I say almost 10, but maybe around 8. I've been actually full force at it. Um, and this, that whole time that I've been doing this, I've never had a client uh, never had a friend, and I have a lot of artist friends that are also mommies that also collect. Um, never in that whole time of rewarding have I run across someone that has trouble distinguishing between reality. And therefore, that makes it fun. That makes it he it's healthy. It's a hobby. It's no big deal. It's artwork. Um, and if you listen, all the collectors, they will refer it to it as their artwork. So, um, I, did, I don't want to get into a great big lecture, lecture discussion about it. I just wanted to kind of throw that out there because, you know, that really upset me seeing that today. It ticked me off big time because um, their photo was um, a reborn doll and it had devil horns. <laughs> And the things they were saying about reborn moms, it was sick and disgusting. It really was. And it made me sick and disgusted myself to know that my clients and my artist friends and uh, maybe even myself is being referred to in that manner. So I just want to make you guys aware of that. And I hope we can continue to support one another and support the art, support the moms of the community, and, um, you know, lift them up rather than letting someone drag them down and, and all that. And even if it's something that you may not understand yourself, <clears throat> don't judge other people for it, you know. 
So I just wanted to add that there and kind of make myself feel better, I guess, about seeing seeing that and just kind of get the message out. I mean, I'm no great big gigantic YouTuber and <clears throat> for what I say is not going to go very far, but hopefully it'll it'll maybe help, help someone and that's the point of it all. So, all right guys, I won't take up any more of your time blabbing along, um, but expect to, to see me tomorrow uh, doing a video with my prototype doll. I'm so very excited. Um, actually, Jacqueline Kramer had put a program on her website that has her in it. So, she kind of let the cat out of the bag a little early. And I was like, ah, that's funny. So, I don't think she realized, but it's okay. So, you could actually sneak onto her Facebook there and kind of look at the baby on the right hand side and that would be me. <laughs> hint, hint. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You have a wonderful night and God bless you. Bye bye.